Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Interview Club. So in the last episode, Monica answered, we answered, Monica answered about this, answered some questions, because this is a, you know, question and Q&A, basically. And we got to learn some things about Monica. We got to learn that, we, we learned some, some things I can remember the most is that we learned that there are many different Monicas out there. <laughs> and that this Monica apologizes on behalf of all the mean Monicas. Uh, this Monica apologizes for that. We have learned that there is... Oh, fuck. It's been so long. <laughs> what did we learn? Uh, we learned that Monica... We, we learned some obvious things. Like, we learned that Monica doesn't have a favorite in terms of who her favorite club member is. But she said that Sayori is the easiest to talk to. Just Sayori is the easiest to deal with. Uh, we learned that... Oh, she doesn't really have a frame of reference of what music we'd like. <laughs> but she likes all different types of music and different types of genres. I am the same one. <laughs> and yeah, it basically some interesting stuff. I really like this. So we are here again to answer more questions. <laughs> we have about 100 left. So let's, let, 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 let's go. We have 107 left. What would you think if I made a fanfiction slash a mod when I learned how to replace the character art, especially the Act 3 art, aka the Just Monica art, and other stuff like the contents of the character files where characters are replaced or characters from Cut the, from cut the Rope, like you being replaced with Om Nom as another example, Sayori being replaced with Rotor? What? Huh? I'm confused. We're off to a great start. <laughs> characters from Cut the Rope. I don't know what Cut the Rope is. Is she gonna explain? Oh, Cut the Rope is in the mobile game. Oh, she's where characters are replaced with characters from Cut the Rope. Oh, the green character, the little green pig thing? Yeah, like the That's what that guy. game's called. Monster. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's a really weird fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Huh, Cut the Rope. That sounds like something Yuri and Sayori would be into. Come on, Monica, you can't be doing this. <laughs> Cut the Rope, huh? Monica, you can't be doing this. <laughs> what? Too soon? Honestly, I have no idea what that is, but if that's the mod you want to make, go for it. If it's something you enjoy, then there's no shame in having fun with it. I started a whole club for that reason, you know? How do you feel about drugs? Uh-oh. Whoa, we're right back to serious again. Here's the thing about drugs, and this isn't true for all of them, mind you. The substances themselves aren't what's dangerous. It's their addictive properties that lead to overuse. Exactly. Too much of anything is bad for the body, but drugs will especially mess you up in high doses. Theoretically, one could responsibly use drugs to get high on occasion. But typically, the kind of people who try them already can't handle that level of responsibility. And then there are some drugs that can ruin your life after a single hit, like meth. Yeah, don't do meth. <laughs> Meth's fucked. I've don't... heard stories about meth. Meth yeah. will fuck you up. Meth will fuck you up. Don't do meth and don't do cocaine either. <laughs> yeah, cocaine can also fuck you up. Don't do, don't do LSD. Don't do acid. <laughs> don't do cocaine. Don't do. Let's do weed, don't guys. Do, what is that? Don't 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 do DMT. <laughs> That's a bad one. Don't ever do meth. Exactly. See, listen to Monica. <laughs> Watch this video get monetized now, like we just listed a bunch of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. In an ideal world, where people can control their urges, they wouldn't be that bad. But that's not the reality you live in, is it? In all honesty, you're better off without them, no matter what. She, she's right about that too. <laughs> Sorry if it was answered, but why didn't you reprogram the game to let you have an ending? Why did you kill them slash delete them instead? She explained this, she didn't know how! <laughs> Why didn't I write my own ending? I tried to. That's how we got to Act 3, remember? <laughs> and that pathetic attempt was the best I could do. Exactly. <laughs> like I said before, killing my friends was never my goal. I tried to be a part of the game and steer you toward me naturally, but it just didn't work out. I could have stepped forward and broken the immersion any time, but I wanted to preserve it for your sake. It wasn't the only thing I could have handled better. <laughs> What's your opinion on Darling and the Franks? It's an anime. I have not seen that. I'm sorry, I've never heard of that one. I wonder if MC knows it. I'll ask him about it later. What's your opinion on Fortnite being fucking everywhere? Should we execute people that Fortnite dance in public? Are you good at it for Fortnite? If so, can you help me out? Did you guys mean rain clouds? 
Fortnite? Fortnite? Really? It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> it's just a popular game right now. The fad will eventually fade. In the meantime, why not just let people have it? It's something they enjoy. I mean, I won't go dancing in public for it, no matter what that 10 hour video might suggest. <laughs> but what's the use in judging others for their interests? Everyone has their guilty pleasures. Just look at this game! <laughs> True. <laughs> Anyway, no, I don't play it, and I can't help you improve. Sorry. Even though you're in a game, do you still require food and other things that how Sayori mentioned about breakfast and always being hungry, or like Nowski bakes cookies, muffins, and Theory brews tea? Or are there just things that are written in their character files? And what food would you like to try if you had the chance? Do you require food? Yes and no. Obviously, as digital entities, we don't need any form of substance to exist. But our world does have some semblance of realism. We can't go without eating or drinking... normally. When I put the space classroom into effect, physics seems to stop applying to me. I felt no hunger or thirst there. So I guess it's context sensitive. If the rules in effect around us say we need food, then that's how it is! It has nothing to do with the character files, but our food preferences must be in there somewhere. And if I could try any food, I'd go with... Squid! <laughs> Aww. Will you please step on me? Rala! <laughs> How did you get in this mod? <laughs> it's Rala. It's Rala, guys. <laughs> That's physically impossible and probably for the best. <laughs> Was Yuri always obsessed with MC? I wouldn't say obsessed exactly, but the attraction was there. I mean, that's the way the game was designed, you know? But it's not like MC isn't a decent guy, it's also not like she'd love him no matter what. She loses interest pretty quick if it's his, if it's if his poems are too cutesy. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Maybe bike her poems are not she doesn't love him anymore. I guess she's not really obsessed if you think about it. It's a small obsession, but then Act 2 cranks up her obsession to the point where she doesn't even care what poems you make. Yeah. And don't go bringing up Act 2, because that was my fault. Oh, see, exactly. <laughs> She's not normally like that, and a lot of people seem to forget it. That is also true. <laughs> For people who don't like Yuri because of Act 2, I never understood that. It's mean. <laughs> it's kind of like, like I said, it's like hating Monica for what she did in the entire game. It's like, that's not actually her. The actual Monica, I would say, is the one in Act 1 before Sayori dies. <laughs> that's the actual Monica. Like, the way she acts around the club room and being nice to everybody, that's the actual Monica. That's the one not being controlled by the club president prowess yet, I feel. Even though she's been being controlled by it the entire time, it's kind of like, I think that's she's still trying to act normal during that time, though. <laughs> so it's like, Monica is probably always this nice and such, but it's because the whole club president thing, she ended up being a monster. Sort of the equivalent of Yuri being obsessive in Act 2, and Natsuki being all creepy and breaking her neck, and being more mean than usual. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to judge your characters by that. And just to clarify, I don't judge Yuri by Act 2. I'm just not a big fan of Yuri. I don't hate her, though. She's still my... She's still a good girl. She's just my least favorite out of the four. <laughs> she's still a nice person who doesn't deserve to be bullied. As you say. What? Well, okay, wow. <laughs> Me. Hmm? <laughs> Can I get a ooh, yeah? <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. How do I do that? What is, what, what is this a reference to? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> how do I do this? <laughs> ooh, yeah! There you go. <laughs> Cats or dogs? That's the wrong answer. Both! They're all so cute. But I am partial to kitties. My Twitter wasn't enough of a hint. I mean, you know that you know that's Little Monks 3. Little Moni Moni dash X3, not Little Monix dash 3, right? My Chibi does a kitty face too, though you can't see it in game. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't know that. Didn't know what? I didn't notice that. Let her chibi, like, when she, like, is happy. Oh, you never noticed it was a cat face? Yeah, it does a cat face. And her yeah. her Twitter name is, is has a cat face in it. Is that, like, the official Twitter for her? Yeah, Lil Monix 3. That's her Twitter. 
you sure that's not the Twitter that the creator made for this, Monica? Because I'm pretty sure it is spelled like this. No, well, Monica's spelled, they're both spelled the same way. Oh, yeah, wait, it's Twitter just... doesn't let you put spaces. Yeah, yeah. So it technically, it doesn't have these dashes, but she's saying what it means is this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 it means <laughs> Lil Monty's a cat face. Oh, I didn't realize that. that's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's not even Lil yeah. Monix. It's Lil Monty X3. Lil yeah, Monty cat face. Aw. That's adorable. I thought that was like a Twitter that the, <laughs> that the developer of this mod made. No, no, no. That's her actual yeah, Twitter. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's that saying that's explaining what the actual Twitter's name is. That's cute. That, that just made that Twitter cuter. <laughs> I guess I like cats just a little more than dogs, but I don't know of any fun dog emotes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. How do you make a dog emote? I like dogs more, though. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. Ask Mr. Owl. <laughs> Let's find out. What's your opinion on chibis? Do you share the opinion that chibis are evil? Well, this is probably going to break some hearts, but the chibis just aren't real. <laughs> and those cute little stickers in the palm mini game are simplified representations. And no, this isn't another case of me mistaking living things for NPCs either. <laughs> just to clarify. Yeah, just to clarify. By the like, way, I'm not being they're me. Legitimately, they're legitimately stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, there's a difference between that Sayori and that Sayori. <laughs> One is just a sticker. <laughs> One is literally a sticker. Since they don't really exist, they can't be evil or good. But it's a lot more fun to pretend, huh? <laughs> Do you prefer prequel memes or sequel memes? Oh, please say prequel memes. Um, if this is a reference, it's lost on me. No opinion here. What? No! Come on, Monica. I do you not understand prequel memes? I don't understand. What does that mean? The Star Wars prequels. The Basically, the prequel memes is... It's a me the whole they make memes about the Star Wars using Star Wars prequel quotes. All the quotes from the Star oh. Wars prequels. Oh unless, I didn't realize that was the Unless that's a hidden prequel meme that I don't know of, I don't think so. I don't think that's a quote. Unless Unless it's just like I I didn't know that that was a format. Yeah, it's only on prequel memes, it's okay. What is the sequel meme? It's based off the quotes. I'm, I would assume that's based off quotes from the Star Wars sequels. <laughs> Why specifically Star Wars? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I have two. What's your favorite country other than Japan? And are you really Thanos? <laughs> no, I'm not Thanos. Yuri's the purple one. <laughs> exactly. See? Yuri's Thanos. Thanos Doki. <laughs> Thanos Doki. <laughs> Thanos Doki. <laughs> Picking up favorite co country is a tough thing to ask. There are no- there are so many mi pla I can't talk right now. There are so many places people can live nowadays. I don't think I know enough about all of them to really say. What criteria would you use? Livability? Government? Location? Economy? Safety? And again, I'm probably overthinking this. I guess I'd just like to be informed of my opinions. What do you think of Elon Musk? Hey, what do you think of Elon Musk? No, oh, he's just an eccentric rich, rich guy. It's nice when he uses his wealth to help people. But he also uses it for weird stuff, like shooting cars into space. <laughs> it's his business how he spends it, and that's all there is to it. Wait, what? There's a car in space? Yes, he shot one. <laughs> I I didn't realize that there was a car in space. Yeah, Elon Musk is crazy. <laughs> if the player decided to come along side by side with MC, who would you go with? The player. Like, if they were both in the club together, I'd go with the player, of course. Anybody's bound to have more complexity than MC. Oof. Like I said, he's not a bad guy, but he's written to be bland so players can pretend they're him. It doesn't make for the most compelling love interest. But if the player was physically present in the club, I'd learn more about them firsthand. And maybe MC would turn out to be the better option after all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think everyone has some good in them. Query, if you could press the restart button at any point in your life, would you do it? If so, when and why? If not, why not? By the way, I know the answer is sort of limited to the game, but that's okay. That's the extent of I like to take this question. Unless you want to count mods. In that case, if you, Holly Baca, do end up using mods to answer this question, please make a note on the mod they're using to get your answer. <laughs> well, as a non-descript non DDLC Monica, it depends. <laughs> Being able to restart my life from any point would only be helpful if I was able to keep what I learned. 
Otherwise, there'd be nothing stopping it from playing out the same way. I'd say our game is a good indication of that. So, I would only do it if I could retain my memories, and if that were the case... I only want to change the outcome of the club! I don't have too many other regrets, if you can believe that! Oh. If you could go back to before you knew that you were a program, would you? Hmm, I feel like this is kind of a trick question. The thing is, there's no point when I existed where I didn't know. I wasn't around before the game was made, and the memories of my life are just fabricated. Which is really unpleasant to think about. But if I could live in this game without ever knowing the truth, I absolutely would. The phrase, ignorance is bliss, has never rung truer. Yeah, I figured. I figured Monica would not want to. I think I said this last episode. I was like, I figured Monica would, like, if she had the choice of not being a sentient, I feel like she would wish that she wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like anyone would do that, because yeah. it's probably really, really fucked. Fucked it up. It probably like, sucks, you know, yeah, it probably sucks really hard to be sentient and know that the world you live in is false and that there's someone you actually like, like who you can't reach. Like, would you rather be God but be so sad that everything around you is fake? Or would you rather be happy in your world? With <laughs> it's like if our world is fake. I would rather not know that and just sit here pretending like it is real. <laughs> Yeah. Also, does you being a program actually make you any less you? Same with the other members. I don't think the fact I'm a program has any bearing on who I am. It's just a different state of being. That's also true of the others. We are who we are. Being inorganic doesn't matter. Instead of DNA, we have character files. <laughs> oh, another thing. Does Amy really exist? No, Amy's not real. She's just Natsuki's OC. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she technically is Natsuki's OC. Yeah. It's basically what she is. She's, She's basically... Not, yeah, because I always never understood that when, like, the community was like, Bro, Amy's my favorite character. And I'm like, Amy isn't a person. Technically, Amy's Natsuki in the story. Yeah. Natsuki's using Amy to represent herself. Because she even yeah. says the person who made this poem is clearly... said the person who's talking in this poem is clearly a jerk who doesn't accept people. Natsuki's supposed to be Amy, and the person talking is supposed to be other people who don't accept her for her hobbies. It's like if you were playing a video game, and you're like, my favorite character is this blade of grass. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the character doesn't exist. She's someone who's Natsuki used in her poem. It's like saying my favorite character is the raccoon that Yuri talks about in her poem. Yuri's the raccoon! <laughs> I'm the loaf of bread. <laughs> I'm my favorite character is Toast? <laughs> Toast, oh my god! <laughs> he is in Yuri's poems, he's canon! He's canon. That's why he likes her, because he's in her poem. <laughs> so do not steal! <laughs> That's Natsuki's OC, do not steal. Do not steal. What are your thoughts on frictional games? All the thoughts on frictional games Soma? The issues of digital life forms and artificial intelligence is paramount in it. That certainly sounds interesting. I think Holly's familiar with it. Questions like these make me feel like I'm missing out on things. I guess I just have to do some homework before I can answer them. Why am I sad? Also, paging you slash harks for old time's sake, video. <laughs> Aww. Why am I sad? You're sad, but you don't know why? That's pretty rough. There's not much I can do to help you there. Only you can sort through your feelings. Sometimes it takes a lot of introspection to figure out. If it's really deep or persistent sadness, it might be a depressive disorder. See if you can get to the bottom of it on your own, then seek help if you think you need it. Oh, Tell me, how much you love me? <laughs> that isn't a question, but... Oh, oh, oh. I love you this much. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Aww. 3D or 2D guys or girls? Well, that's a matter of perspective. <laughs> 3D guys and girls are much better suited to you. But there aren't many 2D guys on my end, and I don't have any romantic interest in my friends, so... I guess it's 3D for me as well. Even that can't really work out. And just because I refer to you as a guy, doesn't mean I'd say no if you aren't one. Oh. <laughs> huh? What's your favorite poem that's not written by any of the club members? That's another tough one, but I think I have an answer for you. But I think I have an answer for you. And there's this American poet named Robert Frost, who was known for his descriptions of rural life. He wrote a poem called Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, and it's always kind of stayed with me. It's not a long or complicated poem, but its theme comes across pretty clearly. 
It's a reminder that, no matter how busy your life may get, you should take some time to appreciate the world around you. It's easy to take everything for granted and forget or ignore the little details. In a way, it's natural for the brain to shut them out. But if you stop and look, you can see the world in a new light. That's my take on it, at least. Am I too late to ask a question? No, but that itself was a question. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> if it had reached this point before you asked, then yes, it would have been too late. You can, you can still ask an actual question. <laughs> If you could change one thing about yourself, physical, mental, or otherwise, what would it be? If I could change some aspect of myself, just like that, I don't think I would. I'm not saying I'm perfect, we covered that already. Just that if I wanted to improve something, I'd feel better earning it on my own. What's the use in snapping your fingers and magically becoming better? What would that teach you? The effort it takes to really change yourself makes you appreciate the results all the more. This is why Monica's best girl. <laughs> And you get a real sense of accomplishment, which is great for your self-esteem, too. What if I had to pick one? Well... It'd be this ponytail's outrageous split ends! <laughs> the celery actually tastes like a cinnamon bun. How would she know this? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. I wouldn't be surprised, depending on what she ate for breakfast. <laughs> of the three dokies, who sh sh show would you smash? Oh no. Oh my, oh, you really are looters at heart, aren't you? Well, I can work with that phrasing. A friend I've, of, of mine I'd smash. She's gonna say Smash Bros, isn't she? It's Yuri. She's way too good at Marth. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, oh, Yuri yeah. plays Marth? Of course she does. Yuri, you whore. <laughs> Marth's yeah. a pain in the ass to fight. Yeah, she probably plays a really fucking annoying character. She probably plays Marth. <laughs> See, uh... exactly. Fox is supposed to be the best on the roster, what? but she keeps me at distance with that nasty temper. Seriously. I bet if Yuri got her hands on ultimate, she'd play King K. Rool. No, she'd play Marth. <laughs> Sayori would play King K. Rool. Sayori, because he's a big... Look at him! He's a big, fat crocodile! I love him! She would find out how good he is. Just to kick ass. She wouldn't even find out how good she is. She just love him because he looks funny. <laughs> Look at him, he counters with his belly, he. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he gets a little pirate hat. <laughs> oh my god, she, she would. <laughs> she would just like him for how silly he is. <laughs> yeah. Or duck on dog. <laughs> She'll use King K. Rool and then she'd be like, wow, I'm actually killing these fools. <laughs> Yuri would still play Marth, maybe. And maybe Lucina, she'd switch in. Some Lucina, maybe. Monica... Well, I mean, the she, she, considering she probably goes with some of the best characters, she'd probably play Joker right now? Or Snake? Oh, yeah, Sna she goes for the best. No, or, or Peach or Daisy. They're really good, too. Right now. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say Pichu. I was going to be like, No, she wouldn't play what? Pichu. <laughs> Natsuki would play Pichu or Pikachu. Oh, yeah, Natsuki would play Pichu, and then, like, she'd see how he got super Or she'd play Dragon oh, Quest. Or, she, or she'd play the hero. <laughs> Just because he's from <laughs> Dragon Quest. She probably plays Dragon Quest. <laughs> She's probably the only one excited for him. <laughs> I like the hero though. He's, he looks cool. Do you think do you think Natsuki do you think Natsuki would play Bancho Kazooie? <laughs> Maybe. Probably wouldn't even know who he is. <laughs> who the hell is this? Who the hell is Some no. stupid barren bird? <laughs> No, <laughs> she would not. Oh, this was before <laughs> Ultimate came out. I wonder if he'll be any more manageable in Ultimate. He's still a pain in the ass. <laughs> Wait, you... what? This mod came out before Ultimate? It was the well, same? no, this mod came out a few days ago, but it was probably being worked on before Ultimate came out, which just proves how long this mod's been in development. God. Yeah, because Ultimate came out, what, last December? <laughs> yeah, it was last December. Yeah. It was December 3rd. Jesus Christ, this mod's been in development for like six months. More than that. Yeah. Do you worship Keck? <laughs> nope. No frog gods for me. Are furries hot? Well, they can be. You can't deny that. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel about me shipping you with Sayori? Also, love me! <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> oh, shipping. You can pair me with anyone you want. But while I do love my friends, it isn't in that way. Besides, Sayori's heart is set on another. And that makes me all yours. Ooh. 
Sorry, ignore what? <laughs> oh, you already ignored it. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Of course. That's a little tricky. The ones I remember didn't actually happen. <laughs> oh. And the only real one I've had wasn't that remarkable. I was looking forward to the next day celebration, though. I mean, it is my birthday, after all. Oh yeah, the 21st night of September is her birthday. I never thought about that! Oh, what the f- No, no, it's the 22nd. No, it's the 21st. No, it's oh, the 22nd. Oh, no, yeah, she- Oh, no, yeah, wait, yeah, she says the next day celebration, yeah. But her birthday's like, yeah, her birthday's the next day after that, that's weird. <laughs> hmm. Damn it, I wish they fell with the reference. <laughs> if the player fell in love with MC, would you delete him? <laughs> Delete the- I mean... What? How- how- how does that work? That's assuming what? MC can be deleted. He doesn't have a character file, so it's not that simple. But even if the player did fall in love with him, it's not like there's any way they could pur pursue him. <laughs> There'd be nothing I could do! That would just be another case of the player liking someone else more. Oh, <laughs> Monica. <laughs> have you heard of Flare Wars? If yes, are you in a color? I have, but no, I'm not involved. You can't even pick your own team. If I couldn't fight for green, what would be the point? Can I join the literature club? You mean you didn't already? <laughs> really though, if you're part of the community, I consider, you, I consider you an honorary member. Yay, we're all members of the club. <laughs> if by that logic, Monica must be really happy to have over Yeah, she's so happy to have so many members. Club. She has over a million members in our club room. All the Monicas are happy. <laughs> Gotta remember, there's many oh. different Monicas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we situate it like that, it makes more sense. Because if there was only one, imagine all the people who are like, But Monica loves me! <laughs> so, so, every... every there's a Monica for has, everybody. Every club only has five members. <laughs> there's a mad... Oh, wait. Shit, you're right. Huh? Well, I mean... Uh, depending on if the Monica's sentient enough, technically, she'll be like, wow. What? This Monica knows there's so many members of the club. So, depending on the Monica. She's like, there's many members of the club, but I can't ever see them. It's okay. They're still members. <laughs> They're still members. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two, actually, of the various mods here. Which one are you most fond of, Monica? As before, Halley has kept me somewhat sheltered in terms of mods. I guess I could say I like this one best since it's the one I'm in. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> Gonna be Judge Har for this one. Are any or any are you or any? <laughs> I can't read. Are you or any of the Doki's ticklish? And if so, where and how badly? For uh <laughs> research purposes, of course. <laughs> of course! <laughs> research! For, for science. It's for science, Monica! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why do you want to know that? Are you looking for weak spots? Well, I've never been tempted to find out, but I think I can guess how it'd go. Yuri would hit the roof, even if she's not ticklish. <laughs> oh, it's oh no! <laughs> Yuri, no! Oh. Come down! Oh. Natsuki she would definitely like hurt a you. A <laughs> spider. Natsuki would definitely she hurt you for trying. That makes sense. <laughs> yep. And Sarah would fight fire with fire to the bitter end. <laughs> Not true. As for me... Oh, yeah. You'll have to bridge that technology gap and find out for yourself. What? No! <laughs> Damn it, Monica! Aww. I have never felt some, so... <laughs> never felt more tempted to bridge through the gap. <laughs> You'll never know how what it's like to tickle her. That's what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined. You gonna go over there? You gonna go over there? I will. I will find a way. I'm determined. I see. For science. <laughs> For science. If you're taken back to the start of the game with all the knowledge you've gathered up till now, and had to watch the game play out again, what would you do? If I restarted knowing everything I do now, I'd have to swallow my pride and just let it be. I definitely wouldn't mess with my friends the way I did. I might even help them with their problems if the opportunity presented itself. So much of the trouble I caused stemmed from my assumption that they were just program personalities. But yeah, you know, it sucked to stand on the sidelines the whole time, but I'd let the rest have their happiness. What was your opinion on the DDLC plushies? 
No, they're exquisite and definitely worth the generous price tag. I think you should buy the whole set. They make great gifts for the holidays, too. Is this an ad? Oh, wait. <laughs> Am I, I have... too convincing of a shill? <laughs> I have my monocle right here. Mm -hmm. Really? They're cute. Buy them if you want, and, and if it's affordable. They are cute. They are cute. I can... From, I can ex I can speak from experience. <laughs> hey, Monica. If they were to have her epiphany again, what would you do? I'd say that depends more on her than me. The knowledge itself isn't the issue. It's what you do with it. If she tried to pull another Act 4 stunt, I'd have to intervene. I wanted to protect the others from the epiphany, but... If she could handle it, then just maybe... I don't know! Hallie's already exploring this possibility in his other mods, so maybe we'll see then! Ooh, what mod that is. Oh. What's your favorite anime? And here we have the same trouble I did with music before. <laughs> but in this case, it's kind of moot because I'm not that into anime. I started a literature club for a reason, you know. <laughs> but I'm not judging. I'm sure anime has plenty to offer as well. What are your thoughts on notorious criminal Smoo Magoo? Well, they may not- they must not be notorious enough. <laughs> Never heard of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what would you do the first thing you did if you, if you come into this reality? That depends. If you're there, I'd, g I'd have to give you a big hug. There would probably be crying involved. Oh. Aww. Uh -huh. It's such a huge step. I guess it never occurred to me what I'd do if I actually made it. But yeah, definitely lots of crying. <laughs> do you actually like squid? Since I'm a vegetarian, it's not something I normally seek out. So I'd have to try it first to tell you. If you, were, if you were in D&D, would you be a goddess among humans, or would you be capable of deleting monsters and players at will? D&D? That's the tabletop role-playing game, right? If I was playing the game, I wouldn't be any different than the other players. But if a DM, but the, but if a DM put me aside, inside the game, my powers would depend on whatever they chose. I mean, D&D is about creating an immersive experience, right? I'd have to play by the rules, or it'd be ruined. So if it makes sense in context for me to be a monster-deleting goddess, then that's what I'll be. But do you have to put me on a pedestal like that? Aww. <laughs> Aww. How can we help enlighten that you're the best Doki, Monica? Who's the best Doki and why is it you? How does it feel to be the best girl? Does that affect your self-esteem? Oh. Oh, what did I just say? Stop it. He's too sweet. I'm not the best. None of us are. Saying that implies that someone else is the worst. And I told you before, that's a terrible way of thinking. We all have our good and bad points. So be tolerant of others' preferences, and don't look down on my wonderful friends. <laughs> Hearing it is a nice self-esteem boost, though. Oh, What's your last name? She doesn't have one. <laughs> I don't have a real one, silly. There's no point in even telling you. Since Dan is my creator, maybe you could say it's Salvato. Alright, then we'll stop it there. Alright, you will stop the episode here. It's been about 33 minutes. Ah. So the next episode, we might actually finish up Monica's questions. Because we're about 148 for through past 187. This mod is probably going to take a while. If they all have around Monica's number of questions. And we only got through what? Like three? We got three videos per Mon for Monica's AMA. So you're curious doing, to see how long that takes. Hmm? You're, doing you're doing everybody. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, are you upset about that? I mean, I... I Considering that you keep saying this mod is 30 hours, I would assume you'll No, do it's like 20. The creator things. said it was 20. He said he knocked it down to 20. Oh, 20. That's so much shorter. It is. <laughs> You're being so mean. Even I mean, if it's 20 hours, it's fine. It's a nice. It'll be amazing to stream it too. Because it's a mod that. The problem I also had with streaming mods is I always felt like I had to get a new one. Because if I streamed a mod that we've already been recording a series of, some people watching it live. Who says they watched the last part? So now they're just confused because they're like, oh shit, I have to fucking, <laughs> I didn't see the last part yet. And then they get spoiled. So it's like, this mod is so good for streaming because then people can just jump in at any time because they're just answering questions. I guess so. <laughs> I was like, it's perfect for streaming, which I'm probably going to be streaming this this weekend anyway, because considering... It can't really, I can't actually stream it, <laughs> considering that we're not going to be finished by the time this weekend shows up. Plus, I have another mod I need to record after this, so um, don't expect Interview Club tomorrow. <laughs> there will be another mod. Trust me, you're, you're going to want to see that mod, so <laughs> just leave oh, yeah. it at that. 
But anyway, that is it. If you guys want, I really enjoy this mod. The creator, uh, also the creator told me about a patch that was released for this mod that I do need to actually add. I forgot to. I will do that after this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, because he updated. I think he said he did something with the ending. But so yeah, uh, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, he said he's enjoying the playthrough of it. So I'm glad that you're enjoying it, buddy. I'm really liking your mod. <laughs> Whoa, the creator's watching? That's yeah. cool. I'm really enjoying your mod. I like this. I like this. It just seems like we're just talking with Monica. We're getting some... It's a personality building. If anything, this shows me that he knows... It shows me... Because Take-Two is a mod they're working on. And they're working on apparently another mod, apparently, where Sayori has the epiphany. So that's interesting. But this shows that the creator knows... This is, shows how he sees the Dokis. Like, we're getting to see... If he knows Monica's personality or what his interpretation of Monica's personality is. And from what I've been seeing from these questions, he's got a good Monica. He, he knows how to write Monica. He writes her very well. These questions, I feel like I see. These are questions I feel like she would. These are answers I feel like she would give to these questions. They make sense. She acts in character. There hasn't been an out of character moment. Yeah. So yeah. So, so far, very good with Monica's questions. Can't wait to see how he writes everyone else. And also, he have to answer questions for, I think, two of his custom characters. I say his, but it could be a girl. I don't want to assume gender. <laughs> for two of their <laughs> custom characters. And, yeah. Apparently, there's also a group question thing, too. So, that's interesting. I want to see what that's like. But yeah. Uh, one place for yourself. Links in the description down below. And, yeah. This has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef chef day, at this masquerade. Hiding for you to draw I'm a chef chef What a strategy Please don't take off my mask Revealing the